Very good morning my dear students of class 7th. Student today in this video we will discuss about the exercise of lesson 1 the organization in plants. Okay. So student we will start our exercise with objective type questions. A question we have choose the correct option. First one is a term tissue was given by dot dot. The term tissue was given by dot dot. So we have four options. A is Robert Hooke, B Mayer, C Bichat and D is Leeuwenhoek. So the term tissue was given by Bichat. Okay student, the term tissue was given by Bichat. So C is correct. Second question we have, which of the following statement given below is correct about meristematic tissue? So we have four options for that. It is made of cells that are incapable of cell division. It is made of cells that are capable of cell division. It is composed of single type of cells or D it is composed of more than one type of cells. So student, we have already learned about the meristematic tissue. You know, the cells of meristematic tissue divides continuously and help in increasing the length and growth of plant. So student, the B option, the B statement is correct. It is made up of cells that are capable in cell division. Okay. Third, we have which of the following tissue are composed of mainly dead cells. So we have answer C. Xylem is correct answer. We have two more options. Phloem, epidermis and D1 is none of these. No, but answer is C. Xylem is a tissue that composed of mainly dead cells. Okay. We know very well that xylem has three part. Xylem had tracheids, vessels. Okay. Xylem parenchyma and xylem fiber means xylem sclerenchyma. But xylem is mainly composed by dead cells. Fourth one is tendons and ligaments are dot dot. So tendons and ligaments are dense connective tissue. They are dense connective tissue. So A option is correct that tendons and ligaments are dense connective tissue. Their main function is to connect. Five we have cardiac muscles fiber are dot dot. Is then cardiac muscle fiber are mostly present in and mainly present in heart. We know very well. So what kind of character they have? Are they branched? Are they stated? Are they involuntary? What is the answer? So the answer is D. All of these because cardiac muscle fiber are branched, they are stated, they are involuntary. All character they have. Six we have cylindrical muscles fiber which shows alternate and light dark bands are dot dot. Is then cylindrical muscles hote hai fiber jo ki alternate light and dark band dikhate. So what type of muscles fiber they are? They are we have four options: A is smooth muscles, B cardiac muscles, C tendons, or D stated muscles fiber. The answer is D, stated muscles fiber. They are also called voluntary muscles because they work according to our will. So stated muscles fiber. Now seven one is ligament connects a bone with dot dot. So ligament is a type of connective tissue. It connects bone with bone. Ek haddi ko dusri haddi se bachchon ligament jodta hai. Eighth we have tendon is a structure which connect dot dot. Tendon ek aisa structure hai jo ki connect karta hai dot dot. Who connect karta hai? We have four options for that. A one is a bone with another bone, a muscles with a bone, a nerve with a muscles, or muscles with muscle. So the answer is B. B option is correct. The tendon is the structure which connect a muscles with a bone. Man species ko haddi se chod ke rakta hai tendon. Nine we have is that fluid part of blood after removal of corpuscles is dot dot. Jo blood ka fluid part hota hai after removal of corpuscles. So that the answer is A. Plasma. A option is correct. Plasma is answer. Okay, student. Tenth, we have largest blood cells are dot dot. Student, we know very well there are different types of blood cells. Okay. We have four options: monocytes, neutrophils, lymphocytes, and basophils. Correct answer is monocyte. Okay, student. A monocyte uh, site is a type of WBC. It's a type of blood cell. Okay. It's a type of leukocytes. Next, we have student B question. Fill in the blanks. Water and minerals are conducted by dot dot. Student, we know very well that I taught you the complex permanent tissue, xylem. Xylem has main function to conduct the water from the soil with the help of root to different parts of the plant. So water and minerals are conducted by xylem. Second, in a higher plant, food is conducted by dot dot. Student, we have discussed about it already that phloem is a, a tissue which transport or conduct the food from the leaves to the different part of plant. Third, we have dot dot consists of tracheids, vessels, parenchyma and fibers. So, these all are part of xylem tissue. Okay, xylem is made up by tracheids, vessels, parenchyma and fiber. 
Fourth, we have student blood is a dot dot tissue. Student, we know very well blood is a fluid connective tissue. It is a connective tissue which is which is fluid in nature. Five, we have bone consists of dot dot cells. Student, bone consists of mainly four type of cells. First one is osteoblast, osteoclast, osteocytes, and osteogenic cells. Okay. Six, we have cartilage consists of dot dot cells. Student, cartilage consists of mainly one type of cells that is chondrocytes. Okay, so cartilage consists of chondrocytes type of cells. Seven, we have fibers are absent in dot dot a type of connective tissue. So answer is blood. Blood is blood is a type of connective tissue. Okay, in which fibers are absent. Eighth, we have student a nerve impulses passes from one neuron to another across a synapse. Synapse. Okay, so student, what is the meaning of synapse? A synapse is a junction between two nerve cells. Consisting of a minute gap across which impulses passes. Okay, जहाँ से impulses एक neuron से दूसरे neuron पहुँचते हैं, उस junction को बच्चों हम synapse कहते हैं. Nine we have student dot dot epithelium occurs in the lining of renal tubules and ducts of salivary gland. Student, I I taught you about the epithelium. There are five type of epithelium we discussed in our previous video. First one is squamous, cuboidal, columnar, glandular, and ciliated. So Cuboidal epithelium occur in lining of renal tubule, and renal tubule is found in the kidney cortex. Okay, and ducts of salivary gland. So cuboidal is the answer. Then we have is done tendons connect muscles with dot dot. We have already learnt about it. Con tendon connect muscles with bones. Eleven we have dot dot tissue regulates body temperature. Is done. We know very well that adipose. Is a basically an aggregation of fat cells. Okay, so it works as insulator in our body and it regulate our body temperature. Adipose tissue. So is that it was about fill up. Now we will come to the question C. Write T for true and F for false statement. First we have meristematic tissue are growth tissue and are found in the growing regions of the plant. Yes, student, we have already learnt about it that meristematic tissues are found in the growing regions. And it is responsible for the growth and growth of height, growth of thickness in plant. So it is true. Second, we have intercalary meristem are found beneath the bark and in vascular bundles of dicot roots and stem. So it is false statement about intercalary meristem. Is done because intercalary meristem located at the base of leaves or internode. So it is false. Okay. The main function of parenchyma is to store and assimilate food. Yes, student. It is correct. We talked about the Uh, permanent tissue and it's a simpler kind of permanent tissue there are three type of simple permanent tissue parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma okay and it's talking about parenchyma so it is correct parenchyma uh, store and assimilate food okay so it is true statement next we have four collenchyma is a mechanical tissue in young dicotyledon system and provides mechanical support and elasticity yes student it is correct about collenchyma Okay, colon chyma has main function to give strength, gives elasticity, elasticity, tensile uh, strength. Okay, and gives support, give mechanical support to the plant, and give elasticity and support, and it's mostly found in dicotyledons, stems and provide mechanical support. So it is about uh, colon chyma, and it is correct statement of it. Five we have is that except xylem parenchyma, all other xylem elements are dead and bounded by थिक लिग्निफाइड वर्ल्ड स्टूडेंट जाइलम पैरन कायमा को छोड़कर जो बाकी के जाइलम एलिमेंट्स होते हैं वो कौन कौन से होते हैं एक हो गया आपका ट्रैकिड्स वैसल्स और फाइवर्स स्क्रैन कायमा सो ये तीनों जो होते हैं वो क्या होते हैं और अदर जाइलम एलिमेंट्स आर डेड सारे डेड होते हैं और ये घिरे होते हैं एक तत्व लिग्निन तत्व से और उसकी एक वर्ल्ड से ये घिरे होते हैं सो इट इज़ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट जाइलम ओके सिक्स वी हैव कार्डिक मसल्स आर प्रजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ आर्टरीज नो कार्डिक मसल्स आर प्रजेंट इन वर्ल्ड ऑफ हार्ट Not in artery, so it is false. Seven we have is done. Thrombocytes protect us from foreign bodies. Thrombocytes protect us from foreign body. No, is that it is wrong because thrombocytes are main function to clot the blood and uh, protect our body from foreign body. Its main function of leukocyte WBC. Okay, so it is false statement. Next we have is that last one is lymph is a colorless fluid that is filtered out of the blood capillary. So it is correct. Lymph is a colorless fluid. Okay, it is filtered out by the blood capillary. So it is true about lymph. So student, it was about the exercise of lesson one, the organization in plant. I hope you must have understood, and with the help of this video, you will try to learn this exercise. Okay, so it's enough for today. Have a good day.